Do you remember British Knights? British Knights is a shoe brand founded in 1983. In the 1980s, British Knights distinguished themselves as an inner city and music driven brand, appealing to the predominantly male youth in urban communities. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can get the latest notification on my latest video that are posted daily. If you've been watching my videos, thank you. Please leave a comment and make a suggestion for a future video, and maybe you will see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching, and now back to the program. Get off and be Kate. Get off and be Kate. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knights, the right move for you. you. Work in a play, nighttime or day. Make all the right moves, you and be Kate. Get off. Get off and be Kate. British Knights at your favorite store. British Knights was launched in 1983 as a casual shoe brand in New York City by Jack Schwartz Shoes, Inc. The company didn't begin with sneakers, but with another form of footwear, boat shoes. British Knights started as Jack Schwartz Shoes, which was a family-run company. They had been in the shoe game for a while and today are going on eight decades and four generations in the business. They started way back in 1939, right in the heart of the depression. Jack passed away at an early age of 44 in 1944, but the family jumped in to keep the business going. Jack's son Donald continued the business and his son would be instrumental in the growth of British Knights. The first line of their own shoes came out in 1972 called Pro Players. They weren't British Knights just yet, but the business grew to where they had expanded to China. The success of the Pro Players led them to create the British Knights brand, and they launched their boat shoes in 1983. Larry Schwartz is the man behind the sneakers. He joined in 1985 and didn't take long to inject some youth and new direction into the company. His goal was to add an athletic footwear division to the company, but he wanted to make it more than just a pair of running shoes. His vision was to create a fashion athletic footwear option. This came about as he was looking out his front door and noticing the changing landscape of pop culture in New York. He also observed a brand new art form, hip hop. Hip hop and its culture introduced us to a wide variety of new colors, fashion and style and Schwartz thought that they needed to be reflected in a shoe. The big, other big shoe companies were still focused on athletic performance, but British Knights took it one step further with an emphasis on fashion. It wasn't just the hip-hop demographic they were looking to target, but all forms of youth culture and music. British Knight shoes set themselves apart from companies like Reebok and Nike by focusing on inner city kids. They would specifically focus on the young male market, and their primary goal was to create a culture in shoe form. British Knights was also be a music-driven brand. This is a very common place today, but hadn't really been done before by a shoe company. British Knights were still a very athletic shoe that you could still find on the basketball court just as easy as you could find on the street corner. Shoes and athletic sponsorships were just starting to emerge with the introduction of the Nike Air Jordan in 1984. Michael Jordan was obviously a massive star, but he was just coming into his own and his best years were still ahead of him. To fully integrate into the culture and become a fashion statement, British Knights would align themselves with a new style of music that was catching on like wildfire through New York and the country. British Knights not only capitalized on the hip-hop culture, but specifically Cool Mo D's song, How You Like Me Now. In 1988, they put on a line of speakers inspired by the song that included a commercial that doubled as a music video. The shoe line and commercial were an enormous hit. They also launched a campaign with print ads that incorporated the same color and graphics displayed on the shoes. British Knights were a massive hit right out of the gate. The timing of the release was perfect as it caught that sweet spot of the emergence of hip-hop and the embrace of new, unique, and individual styles. British Knights sales skyrocketed in the late 1980s from just $8 million in 1986 to a whopping $136 million in 1989. 
In fact, the shoes became so popular that in 1990, Larry Schwartz told Fortune magazine, we've held back in controlled growth because we wanted to maintain a mystique for the brand. The company tried to manage its exclusivity, for example, by limiting distribution to specialty athletic stores like Foot Locker and eschewing mass merchandisers like Walmart and Target. Today, we are very familiar with new shoe releases such as Yeezys, LeBrons, Jordans, and Air Force Ones. These brands put out specific editions at a one-time shot that collectors and shoe lovers pay top dollar for. In the 1980s, this wasn't a thing at all, until British Knights. British Knights would release new collections at least three to four times a year. If you saw a sweet new shoe they put out, you only had one chance to get it. After that, you wouldn't see it again. They had inadvertently created an even larger demand for their shoes and could start putting out more and more unique versions. Surprisingly, they were an enormous hit with the 15 to 24 male demographic. Urban communities ate them up and their unique catchphrase, the shoe ain't nothing without the BK button, propelled their diamond-shaped logo into the mainstream. Going into the 90s, British Knights would step up their collaboration game, including a massive campaign with MC Hammer. They would also cross over into basketball sponsorships, working with top athletes like Dominic Wilkins, Derek Coleman, and Lloyd Daniels. Controversy in the early 90s, the infamous street game, the Crips, were fond of the shoes and there was the thought that they wore them because BK stood for Blood Killer. Many schools and universities began banning British Knights shoes, but their popularity was fading. The ever-changing nature of hip-hop style and fashion pushed British Knights to the side in favor of whatever else was new and cool. In 2014, British Knights began a comeback. Jack Schwartz shoes got back into the mix with designer Darren Romanelli and Scooter Braun, manager of artists like Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. They went back to the roots of style over function with the slogan, artists are the new athletes. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.